OK, in this video, we've got a particle of weight 20 newtons is pulled along a smooth horizontal surface by a force of 10 newtons acting at an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal. Right, let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. OK, so we've got this particle. Let's draw it as a box, OK? And it's on a smooth table. And it has a weight of 20 newtons. Okay, that's working vertically downwards. Um, it's being pulled along by a force of 10 newtons, acting at an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal. So, uh, 10 newtons, and that angle is 35 degrees. Okay? Right. Let's add on anything else that we know about. Now, we know that the surface is smooth, okay, so there's no friction, so we can ignore that. The only other thing that we need to be aware of is that there is going to be that normal reaction force, R, okay, working uh, directly upwards. So we're asked to find the speed of the particle after eight seconds, given that it starts from rest. Okay, so what we'll probably want to do is we want to figure out the particle's acceleration, okay? because we know it's going to be accelerating in that direction. Now, for this force here, we can resolve it into its component parts. So we've got the adjacent side being 10 cosine 35 degrees, and the opposite side being 10 sine 35 degrees. OK? Now, um, what I probably want to do next is to think about um, resolving this horizontally. I'm going to take to the right as positive, OK? Now, I'm looking for the net force. So I've got that 10 cos 35 working in that direction. Now, I don't have any forces acting against me. I've got no friction force. So that's just got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, OK? Now, I'm not told the mass. I'm told the weight of the particle. So if mg is equal to 20, OK, because that's the weight, then I know that m is 20 over g, OK? So I'm going to use 9.8 here. Um, perhaps the question will say otherwise. So that would be 20 over 9.8, OK? Now, that simplifies to 100 over 49, OK? So I'll write it as 100 over 49. So that's mass times acceleration. So the acceleration will be multiplying both sides by 49 over 100. OK, so 49 over 100 uh, times by 10. So we get 49 tenths times the cosine 35. OK, so that's the exact uh, value of it. So as decimal, that's 4.01384, etc. OK? So that's our acceleration. Now, we're ready to use SUVAT. OK? So S, U, V, A, and T. So we know the acceleration is this 49 tenths cosine 35 degrees. We know the initial velocity is 0 because the question says that we're starting from rest. We want to find the speed of the particle after 8 seconds. We want to find the velocity after 8 seconds. So I want the equation that doesn't have s involved, okay, which is the first equation. So v is equal to u, which is 0, plus a, which is the 49 tenths cosine 35, times by t. So I've conveniently still got that 4.01384 into my calculator, so I just need to multiply that by 8, and that gets me the velocity, which is 32 metres per second to two significant figures, because my gravity was to two significant figures, so this should be as well. OK, so that's how I can find the velocity of this particle 
uh, after eight seconds.